The thing is, if you are a business owner, especially an LLC business owner, you need to have a business credit card because that will help you build business credit. But most importantly, what we want to have here is you want to have a business credit card, no personal guarantee and high limits. So in today's conversation, I want to address that issue. How do you get it? How do you get an ALC business credit card? No personal guarantee and high limits. Here is an overview I want you to pay attention to. See, the whole thing here is that when we talk about getting an ALC business credit card with no personal guarantee, you first need to think about your, your ALC's legal structure. The question I'm asking to I'm asking you right now is, do you have an ALC, boss? You just walk around and tell everybody that you have an ALC. But the question is, do you really have an ALC? Because when we talk about ALCs, there are some uh, conditions, legal conditions you must fulfill. And everything happens at the state level. When we talk about ALC, LP, S Corporation, C Corporation, the, uh, the formation of the business happens at the state level. So it's really important to make sure that whatever is uh, available, whatever is applicable, in your state, you actually uh, fulfill those conditions. What am I trying to say here? I'm trying to say having an LLC is just not something you have by name only. No, there are conditions. Do you have articles of uh, organization? Do you have your certificate of good standing? In other words, are you in good standing? When was the last time you filed your uh, annual report with the uh, state authorities? Those are little things. Do you have a registered agent? You need to have a registered agent. Now, you can be your own registered agent or you can outsource that task to a third party. I think it's just a lot better to have a registered agent. Now you don't do it yourself because it's, it's, a, it's a lot of work and uh, you, you really want to divorce your personal affairs from your business affairs, okay? And the thing is that when we talk about having an LLC, you want to have a separate address for your business that uh, that you use for your house and it doesn't matter if you work in your basement or you work in your backyard or the front your front yard for that matter you still you still want to have let's say for example a virtual office or a virtual address so that your uh, your mail is just sent to a different address okay that's the first thing legal structure second thing your alc's legal name okay name is really important the third thing is your federal tax id you need to have an ein Okay. By the way, boss, welcome back to the show. It's really a pleasure to have you here. And uh, so, the, so the first three things: legal structure, legal name, and federal tax ID (EIN). Next, I want you to think about your annual revenue. So if you want to give a, an LLC business credit card, no personal guarantee with high limits, you need to actually uh, think about your revenue. Now, revenue goes two ways, right? Either you are a startup and uh, you have no revenue or you have an LLC that's been in business for a while, but you are running a loss. If you're running a loss, anytime you're running a loss or let's say your LLC has not established itself yet, operationally speaking, what you do is you have to resort to something called forecasting. You need to present financial statements that are estimated, okay? Forecasted financial statements. Sometimes they're called projections. So for when you hear the terms financial projections, estimated financial projections, or estimated financial, pr financial statements, or forecasted financial statement, those things mean the same thing. And what you do here is that you are showing the credit card issuer that, hey, listen, I might not be making a lot of cash right now, but I have a I have a situation in place. I have a, a plan in place that will help me go back to profitability. Very, very important, boss. Very, very, very important. You know, I see a lot of, uh, we, we receive a lot of uh, viewer emails every single day telling us that they don't understand why their, uh, their credit application is always uh, denied. It's because you don't have the financial statements now if you're running a profit if your alc is running a profit then you show actual data so you, you will show a complete set of financial statements that show that hey listen you are producing revenue when we talk about revenue i'm not talking about just your p l your profit and loss statement you also have to add to the p l your uh, your balance sheet your alc's balance sheet your alc statement of cash flows and your alc's statement of owner's equity Boss, by the way, I want to quickly remind you of today's topic. We are having a convo about ALC, business credit card, no personal guarantee, high limit. How do you actually get it for real? Okay. And uh, you also have to think about your uh, your credit score. See, the whole thing here is that if you want the, the, the bank to start thinking about giving you the ALC business credit card as an EIN only 
credit card, you need to make sure that your, your credit score is also uh, is also stable. OK, because see, the thing is, this works in a very weird way. If you don't have a, a stable credit score personally, the, the bank or the credit card issuer, for that matter, is not going to give you the, the credit card with no PG. So you need to make sure you have decent credit score. So we're talking about at least the five, 550, 575 minimum. But 600 is really where the juice is at. Well, this is where you'll start having some nice offers. Let me give you a bonus that you will love here. So the thing here is that how long does it take to get an ALC business credit card? No personal guarantee. How long it's? Well, it really depends on uh, the uh, the I would say the financial profile of your ALC. Sometimes some ALCs get it like within uh, within one week. Some ALCs get it within two weeks. Sometimes it's within a month. It is a process, boss. I want to really repeat that. It is a process. Everybody talking on uh, on YouTube or on the internet about ALC. EIN only business credit card. They think you just have to fill out a form. You have to put your EIN and that's it. Voila. It doesn't happen that way. No way, Jose. No way, Jose. No way, Jose. Don't let anybody fool you. It is it is a process. When we talk about ALC EIN only, no personal guarantee business credit card, it is a process. You have to start by showing the bank or the credit card issuer for that matter that your ALC deserves to be to be taken as an entity because see when you asking the, the the credit card issuer to do to give you a no personal guarantee business credit card you are asking the credit card issuer to forget about your personal situation your financial situation personally and to only focus on the uh, on the business but for the for the credit card issuer to focus only on the business you have to show that the business not only is a standalone is a standalone entity in other words operational speaking the way you run the business you are really uh, divorcing you have able you have been able to divorce completely your personal affairs from the LC's affairs that's number one number two that the business is viable financially it's called in uh, in finance that the, the, the term is ongoing concern in other words your LC has ongoing concern in other words it, it will be around for a while so this is uh, this is quite essential for the for the uh, for the credit card issue okay and uh, LC business credit cards have pros and cons pros we have lenient qualifications Credit limits are high, funds access really fast, and there is a tax season simplification. What about the cons? There is potential liability. If you do not get the personal guarantee, there is a liability potential here. You have fewer protections and you have a high interest rate in some cases. Let me give you the approach that I want you to take right now if you are trying to have an ALC business credit card with no personal guarantee and a high limit real fast. See, the thing is that if you are an ALC owner, I don't care where you are at right now. I don't care about the situation you have, your FICO score and whatnot. You need to have an ALC business credit card for your uh, for your uh, for, for your company. This is because this is because you need to actually protect your ass. You want to actually make sure that you protect your ass financially speaking so with a biz with the business credit card for your LLC you're able to to tap into an external limits right so instead of using your cash all the time you are able to to, to have access to uh, some extra cash and you are able to to run your business more optimally and it doesn't matter if you are if you are a sole proprietorship, you know, because a lot of folks believe that if you are a sole proprietorship, you cannot get an you cannot get a business credit card. You can. The only thing is that in today's conversation, we are strictly talking about ALCs. So if you are a sole proprietorship, that means you are not an ALC. So the uh, the topic will be out of uh, this this conversation. But I can tell you for a fact that if you are an ALC, if you are a sole proprietorship, you can still qualify. Now, if you are an ALC and you are, you are a one person business, you can, you can still qualify. It is something called a single member ALC, son, daughter. So what I'm telling you here is that you become an, a single member ALC. So it, as a single member ALC, you can still qualify for a, uh, for a business credit card, no personal guarantee and high limits. Okay. By the way, let me quickly remind you of today's topic once again, because I want to make sure that everybody's on the same page, that you and I are on the same page. I am talking to you about LC business credit card, no personal guarantee, high limit, high limit. How do you get it? Okay. So see the thing is, so you, you want to get an LC 
because you want to uh, you want to earn some extra cash for example so there are some LLCs, business credit cards they have a cash rewards think about it okay so the thing is that even if you're just using the card for occasional purchases a client lunch here supplies there cash back will rack up over time and if you maximize your rewards you could get even more cash back or points from an alc business credit card okay so in addition to the uh, to the extra cash that you have from uh, the uh, like the credit limit that you get from the alc you are able to get also the uh, you know the extra cash so that's fantastic You can also use an LLC business credit card, no personal guarantee, high limits to, to use. You can use points or miles to cover business travel. OK, and this is this is really important. Business travel, you never want to use your cash, your own, your personal cash for it unless you have to, because business travel, I would say, uh, entail a constellation of rewards entail a constellation of miles and travel rewards in general because a lot of airlines and the uh i would say the peripheral industry they are making money there are a lot of uh, there, are, there are billions of dollars that go into that industry so you really want to make sure you you use credit card only okay credit cards only if, if you if you uh can so whether you are a current or aspiring alc business traveler a travel rewards alc business credit card can put you can put one step put you one step closer to a free flight or hotel stay with every eligible purchase. See, the whole thing is it doesn't matter if you are running a one person show or you are running a multi member LLC, uh, you, you, you can still benefit. OK, and because at the end of the day, you are you going to use the card anyway. You're going to use the card not just uh, to uh, purchase to make everyday purchase, but also to build credit. See. Well, well, the reason why I insist on you having an LLC business credit card is not just because you probably, I mean, you, it's not just because you might need some extra cash. No, you also need to build business credit. Okay. And you can also uh, use the LLC business credit card to separate business expenses from personal expenses. This is what I was just talking to you earlier about. I say you need to divorce your personal affairs from your business affairs. This is so critical, boss. Do not underestimate this because you know, the thing is that you might lose your ALC status if the IRS, for example, realizes that you are actually uh, you have not created a clear segregation between your personal affairs and your company company's affairs. In other words, you are actually uh, using, for example, your personal credit card for business uh, expenses and vice versa. Or you are basically, uh, yeah, basically you are taking like let's say you just filing your taxes and you are really writing off stuff that you should not be running off in the first place in other words you are writing off for your business personal stuff okay not good at all and you can also use an llc for another important element you can use it to finance a large purchase okay you can you can use an llc to finance a large purchase and the thing here is that when we talk about getting an llc business credit card no personal guarantee how limit remember that you need three things you need three things you need to have a, a complete set of financial statements so you want to have your the statement the four statements that i mentioned before right so your llc's balance sheet your llc's fun your cash flow statements, your ALC's uh, statement of uh, income, also called P&L, and your ALC's statement of owner's equity. So that's the f those are the four things you first need to have. So number one, you need to have three, that. Number two, you need to have a business plan. You need to have a business plan. In other words, the, the credit card issuer will consider you as a separate entity if you have uh, demonstrated a clear path to consistent profitability. Let me repeat that. You need to do you need to demonstrate a clear path to consistent profitability i'm not talking about one of profitability you're making money here and there no we are speaking about consistent profitability so if you want if you want to have that personal guarantee no personal guarantee lc business credit card you need to have that the third thing i want you to pay attention to is so number one you need to have complete set of financial statements number two you need to have a business plan and number three you need to apply at the branch you cannot get a you, you will never get a, a no personal guarantee business credit card by applying on the phone or by applying online it, it, it ain't happening 
it's not set up it's not set up that way it will not happen i repeat boss you need to bring your ass to the branch to the nearest branch and sit down with the with the with the rep there and have a conversation so that you can get your alc business credit card no personal guarantee and with a card you can finance a large purchase and you can take advantage of unique perks also so a large purchase in, in what sense you can actually um uh, you can actually benefit from a, a 0% intro APR. It can be for 12 months. It could be for 18 months. We've seen cases where you have uh, intro APRs that run all the way to 21 months. Think about that. Nearly two years. You have the ability for two years to finance a, a purchase and uh, so finance the purchase interest free. So this is kind of cool, really. Okay. You can take advantage of unique perks. For example, you have a uh, free employee cars, expense tracking tools, quarterly summaries, merchant discounts, purchase protection and travel benefits. One thing you also need to think about here is that when you have your LLC business credit card, no personal guarantee, uh, high limits, you are able to track and earn rewards for employee spending, and you should. It doesn't matter if you have if you are a one-person company, you need you still need to track your own spending because the uh, the uh, the benefits are just too many, too many. Okay, not only and you do this for several reasons. You are tracking and earning rewards for employee spending because you want to earn rewards. That's just pure logic. But you also want to uh, make sure come year end that you are able to uh, file your taxes, your ALC taxes, a lot more easily. Because see, the thing is, what we love about uh, ALC business credit cards is that those credit cards come, uh, they do come generally with a complete set of financial tools and uh, analytics uh, and uh, analytics capabilities that allow you in the end, come year, come tax year, not tax year, come uh, tax season, to be able to file your taxes very quickly, okay? And there are other reasons because see some of those rewards they accumulate over time. So in other words, you are able to uh, to uh, to earn the rewards right now. But there is an, an ancillary summary that goes on that actually uh, you know accumulates your rewards over time. So you are able to earn double. So this is important. Now let me ask you a question, boss. Big decision time. Big decision time. What's your LLC business? What's your LLC situation right now? Do you have a I would say a legally structured ALC. I'm not talking about ALC that you have in, in your mouth or whatever you tell everybody when you go to a happy hour. I'm speaking about a, a real ALC. Do you have a real ALC? In other words, can you show me the paperwork? If I ask you right now to show me the real paperwork, in other words, the articles of incorporation, your articles of, uh, your articles of, uh, not incorporation, your articles of organization, your, uh, your certificate of good standing. Do you have a registered agent? Do you have your address, your, your, your ALC address that is, uh, distinct from your personal address? Those are things that are really important. If you do, this is great. If you don't, I want you to take the steps right now to rectify those things because you're not going to get an you're not going to have an LLC business credit card, no personal guarantee with the high limits if you do not have a strong foundation for your LLC. And we're speaking in here about your strong legal and regulatory foundation. You need to actually abide by all the laws and regulations that actually that uh, that regulate, okay, that that oversee the LLC formation and management in your specific state. Okay. Everything happens at the state level when it comes to LLC formation and LLC management. Now, when it comes to LLC taxation, it happens not only at the federal level, but also at the state level. So you have uh, a, the, I would say uh, a concept of, of duality there. Okay. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was just talking to you quickly about how to get an LLC business credit card, no personal guarantee, high limit, real fast. So I, get, I give you an overview, give you the bonus, the approach you need to follow, and then here's a recap. Thank you. God bless you. I will speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.